36 teachers who went through the uh, certificate program at UPenn are now creating a new high school diploma. They're looking at how to seed the InVenture culture, everything that we hold so dear at InVenture uh, in the new school while giving the new school team an opportunity to, to sort of, you know, make, make it something which is their own. Uh, we're looking at, I was talking to a teacher today who's looking at using these tools to help her team as a subject lead create curriculum. Uh, another teacher talked about how they use it in class so that students can understand the benefit of why they're learning something. So really the possibilities are endless. I think Inventure has always been entrepreneurial, right from the get-go, because of Nureen's very, I, I have to say the words, okay, fearless and visionary leadership, uh, Inventure has always been different and we've done things differently, but to make a difference. 36 of us um, completed this program recently from um, University of Pennsylvania Graduate School of Education. It's called as Certificate Program in Entrepreneurship and Innovation. The program was, uh, had 10 modules and we started with discovering ourselves, looking at our own entrepreneurial mindset. How do we connect with stakeholders? How do we understand customers? What do we do to take learning fur further? What is the science of learning itself? How do we celebrate learning? And when we looked at this course and different modules, we were asked to pick up some tools that really helped us to understand ourselves and our system and we turned that into a capstone project. Through this course, we really had such a fantastic opportunity when we worked with UPenn um, to, uh, uh, to think about our own practice deeply, you know, to think about it critically, you know, to use the tools that we uh, learned through the UPenn course, uh, whether it be the backward design, you know, kind of processes that, are, uh, that we discovered, um, <clears throat> whether it was, um, uh, you know, the, the five wires, or the vision and mission statement, uh, you know, or even to really reflect on how entrepreneurial we are as teachers. Because moving forward in the world that we are inheriting, um, all of us as learners, whether it's students or parents or teachers, we really have to be able to delve deep into what it is that we are doing and bring meaning. So I think what it really means is to be open-minded about what you can do, to be able to be collaborative with other people that are doing innovative and entrepreneurial things, and to take risks to try to do those things. And then I think you will be an innovative, entrepreneurial thinker. It goes back to our philosophy and our desire to create 100,000 change makers. Now, you want your children to be change makers, but if you as an educator doesn't know, if you don't know what it is to be a change maker, then how are you going to teach the child? The term entrepreneurship has a very different and a very uh, profound meaning these days on how you want to make what we do in class, the kind of skills, and that's why I think there's a lot of emphasis on skill building and competency building, on what we do in class is making them life ready. And uh, I think that's what Inventure believes in, that you know, you, you, you create change makers, you create lifelong learners. And for that, a teacher has, and we need to impart that to educators as well, we need to have certain entrepreneurial skills. So, yeah, innovation and entrepreneurship. Opening our uh, Yeshwanpur campus uh, for the academic year 23-24, and hopefully uh, the next campus in uh, you know two years after that and so therefore we, we asked ourselves what of this 
flagship in venture do we have to take to the other schools? What is the, the DNA, what is the ethos that makes Inventure and Venture? And so that was what our entire project was about. The course for me was an introduction to various kinds of tools because our team is growing bigger. We have a more number of teachers in the team department and the team, team as you know is all about critical thinking, making real life connections and how best can we empower teachers to get to that. So I have uh, used four or five tools in different ways and we've all, I've already started with uh, training in the department. This is about co-creation, this is about collaboration, this is about asking our stakeholders, our colleagues, um, our students to help us think about what's necessary and what's needed to help create the future, co-create the future of education. And what we find in working with teachers all across the world is that teachers are excited about that invitation and so eager to collaborate and break down those silos and those walls when it's around a real problem, something that means something to them. Very tricky one. During the journey or during the process, there are several times when I'm thinking there is no need for me to be doing this right now. There's just no need for it. Maybe there's a want at some point, but I can always do that at another time. You know, I have I mean, 400 other things running parallelly. So maybe I don't need to be focusing on this right now. But I think that's kind of precisely what makes us reach a point where we realize new things about ourselves. That you've either done something new and pushed yourself beyond that, uh, that comfort zone or even that boundary that you think you're living inside. And the other thing is that even if you've done something previously and you're doing it again, you're doing it with the newer self that you've become. It keeps you actually charged up, I should say. <laughs> For me, that's what makes the difference. It's a big risk, of course. You are uh, trying to do new things. and uh, But the learning and the reflection makes it even more better. I am so optimistic and so hopeful and so excited. So, I mean, what a, what a privilege to actually come and to reconnect with some of the project teams who move their capstones from the certificate program out into the world and have done testing with learners, with teachers, with leaders, with other sectors and other people around what's possible. And seeing those teachers out in front with, the, with their ideas, with what they've piloted, with how they've thought about using these beta tests in a way that is so respectful and mindful of what is needed in education, but is also pushing the envelope. I wouldn't say just the 36 of us, I can see it filtering into the rest of the team too, right? The kind of excitement which has come in, and there are people who have come and asked, when can we do this course? What can, you, what can we do to use these tools? Can you let me know if I can use the 5i tools in my class right now? And how do you think I can do it further, right? Um, learning place, this place where, uh, where everyone is looking forward to some change, to doing th things better. So if one of us from this community is able to bring about the change, not just initiate, not just nudge, but create the change and sustain that growth that has happened due to the change, I think that's what drives me today. Life is not a test where you have the answers, right? And so therefore it's about asking questions, finding uh, knowledge, you know, finding somebody who can help you unblock those challenges. Life is going to throw you many challenges and honestly that is what makes life uh, interesting. The, what the UPenn course has done is given me the, that toolkit, that structure, which helps you turn, flip that challenge into an opportunity for you to innovate, to do better, to be better.